Hi there, I'm Don Ross and welcome to my makeshift television studio here in my living room in Toronto, Canada. I recently had a bit of a you know, tragedy, I guess, with my touring guitar, my custom-made Mark Beneteau guitar, a beautiful guitar that I've been touring the world with for the last several years. I was recently coming back from Europe and the airlines or the security agency or somebody managed to completely destroy the instrument and it's being replaced right now, well, being rebuilt right now. Uh, shortly thereafter, I was contacted by a fellow named Rob Bailey who runs a company called Journey Instruments. And they make kind of amazing travel guitars. Um, now, he sent this to me to try out and I'm quite intrigued. This is a carbon fiber model. It's called the OF660. And like I say, completely made of carbon fiber. You can see this one is a lovely kind of bluish color. I'm colorblind, so trust me, I think I know what I'm talking about. And um, it's a really itty bitty little instrument, especially in a big guy like me. But it's got a, it packs a huge punch, it's quite amazing. I'm gonna play it for you right now just to give you an idea. I've got it in standard guitar tuning, so regular E to E tuning. And I'll play a few um, choruses of a blues tune of mine called Blue Bear. It's really quite remarkable. The guitar plays in really good tune, um, has incredible depth, uh, you know, great bottom end on it for such a small instrument, and um, can take all kinds of abuse. So what I mean by that is that you can uh, put it through the, the ropes that I put it through. I use a lot of different altered tunings. Just to show you how uh, low this bottom string can go, here, I'll tune it down to a C. There, we've still got a lovely, lovely low C. So that's kind of remarkable. So it can take altered tunings quite well. Here's drop D tuning. And the whole idea that Rob had in forming his company was to create a guitar that sounded good, was pretty indestructible, and also really great for travel. Now, you may look at this and say, well, it's still, hmm, you know, it's kind of like somewhere between guitar size and ukulele size, I suppose. Um, but the amazing thing is that it fits in the overhead really simply. I'll show you how. The darn thing comes apart and goes snaps back together really, really easily. Here's how it works. Back here, there's a, a little sort of turn thing, I don't know what to call it, and up here is a little button. And so what you do is you turn this little doodad here, this loosens the neck from the body, and you just press this button and the neck pops off, just like that. Now it comes with a travel bag, which I'll show you in a second, but just to show you how it all snaps back together just as easily as it snaps apart, here I'm putting the pieces back together. So the neck goes back on, snaps back on like this, there, and then we tighten it up. Now the crazy thing is that it's still almost perfectly in tune. Uh, it's retained the, the drop D tuning quite well. And so a little bit of fine tuning. there. Back to drop D tuning without too much incident. <laughs> All right. So um, I'll move on to the bag in a couple of seconds, but I also want to show you how good it sounds plugged in. It comes with an onboard pickup and the results are kind of remarkable. All right, so what I did while I had the camera off for a split second was I plugged the guitar in. Now you'll see the microphone's gone. We're not using any mic at all uh, to pick up the guitar anymore. And I'm gonna turn my vocal mic off while I play so you won't hear it 
at all. All you're going to be hearing is the plugged in sound of the guitar. So it's a standard guitar jack and a standard guitar cable. And the pickup in this thing sounds killer. It's incredible. It's a tiny little guitar. Sounds big plugged in. Uh, all I've done is I've added a tiny bit of reverb. Uh, no effects, no nothing. I'm running it pretty flat. I'll play a little something for you here and drop detuning. So while I was playing that excerpt, I had my vocal mic off, so all you were hearing was the pickup. All right, let's move on to how this thing travels on an airplane. All right, let's look at the carry-on bag. This is it. This is the guitar taken apart and put it into its special carry-on bag. And you can see that this bag is no larger than most roller bags that people stuff into the overhead. In fact, a lot of people these days are stuffing bags much larger than this onto the overhead. But it's thin, it's small, it's light. I'm holding it up with one thumb here. Now I'll show you how it all works. You can see that there are extra compartments, like right here you could put sheet music in if you needed to, or right here you could put in um, strings perhaps capos, picks, up here, there's all kinds of extra pockets. And then the guitar itself is stored in a couple of pieces like this. We open it up. Here's the body of the guitar right here, okay, with the neck taken off it, obviously. The strings are being kept safe here on top of this flap, a little piece of Velcro holding them down. And then over here, in this compartment here, we unzip it and Lo and behold, there's the neck, free up the strings, and we assemble it just like we did before. Okay, make sure the strings aren't too twisted round or anything like that, and it looks good. And we snap it back on, just like before, and we turn the little tightener in the back, and there, our guitar is all ready to tune up and play. <laughs> it's a little out of tune now because it's been in the bag. But kind of amazing. It's an amazing little system. And as you saw, it sounds good. Acoustically, it sounds good plugged in. And it comes apart into this thing that weighs just a couple of pounds. It's kind of amazing. And so there you have it, the Journey Instruments OF660 travel guitar. This one's made out of carbon fiber. You can also get them made out of wood. And they are very reasonably priced and available at this website that you're seeing show up on your screen. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day and check out Journey Guitars online. Thanks a lot. I'm Don Ross, signing off from Toronto, Canada.